Hi guys, welcome to another video and this is going to be a really quick little spa drill. So if you have to live with a martial artist or someone that's stupid, I mean brave enough, dedicated, wonderful, pre-dedicated, and lovely, this is a little drill you can do. But you do need two people. Or more. And two, well, we've done this with uh, in various ways with five people and both staffs. Yeah. And fun was had by all. I wish I had the video. I really do. Don't right. know where it's gone. The idea behind this video was we're going to use a half cane and a basically a focus mitt and this represents two arms so the cane is going to be the lead arm that's going to be in the way before you can strike so you're going to tap that out of the way and then strike the focus pad which would be your target yeah in any part of the body that you decide you want to you know have a little go at so it's, it is just a drill, it's not a technique, but drills build up your foundation. So please don't write to me and say, that'll never work in the street. It won't, because it's a for drill. It. <laughs> and it's basically, while we're in this situation, it's a fun thing to do. And we need some fun. We do. If you want some real fun, what you ought to do is buy a real cool t-shirt. See, laughing already. No shame with this guy, is there? But seriously, we do have a link down below. As with all drills, start basic. So we're just going to plant our hands up, thusly. So as I bring the pad up, he strikes, he brings the pad up, I strike. You can have the cane where you like. Let's do that. Then I've changed the position, changing the strike doesn't have to be the same strike but be really conscious of your opponent <laughs> very much so if you've got a living Kato all well and good ah, I miss Burkwok what we're going to do from here so this is the arm this is my target and it can be whatever I want because that's where it is so I'm using my left hand Kev's using his right hand so we're both in the same position I'll start first so I'm going to, with my cane, knock his arm out of the way. So it's not going to be a big motion because he can poke me. And if he wants, if I'm too slow, he can hit me with that. So if I'm like, oh, I'm going to knock that out of the way, oh dear. So it gives a little bit, or if you really want, you can go. that works. I've seen Master Ken, it's a <laughs> drill. So if I don't take that out of the way and strike that, He's going to hit me with that. So we're both in the same position. Doesn't need a big motion. Just little taps. Just knocking the pad out. Again, I'm putting one into the other. Yep. So if we had a bit more distance, we'd actually be a. Uh, it'd be, be easy, fun. actually, to be honest. Yep. Now here's one I was playing with. So I did a down the fan block, and I thought, oh, quite difficult to strike there. So I could either use my free hand, yeah. or I'm coming through with a crook strike. So things that look cool in my head, when I practice them, they're not that cool really, let's be honest. So we're just working out what does work. Well with me, my cane's always basically on my lap when I'm in the chair. So, so with the arms coming in, I'm doing an inside to outside fan strike, I'm not going to call it block, followed by a crook strike. Then I could just go ooh. into a shaft, tip, and then push away. And as you know from wearing the body armour, that hurts more than it looks like it should. Yeah. So just go ready. So this would be a guard position, whatever it is you like. I mean, I quite do a very very simple one, or I flick, and then I just go straight through to the throat. But obviously yeah. he's paranoid. I'm going to strike him in the throat. If you look at this, when Chris and I are doing our sword work and we're here, normally it's a tap and yeah. strike in. Yeah. Which is great. Fencing, you're up. all tapping and to get the foil offline. So this is basically what we're doing. It's, it's, 
it's a sword so, work, really. So yeah, but it was for combat and it worked. So yeah. why not use it? I'm quite fond of just here, not necessarily knocking it out of the way, but I'm just following the line to get to my target. But simple ones to start with works a yeah. treat. Now I would never do this, but I'm going to go for a downward fan block into there, and then follow with a reverse crook strike from there. But at the moment, we're Daleks. This is with Chris's attack area, but I'm chaff punching. So that's nice and easy. I want to hit your arm so much. I know. There. That's nice and easy to block. And I know so much I can do from there. Yeah. It doesn't take a lot. Because he's given me that, I've got a nice big swing. I was going to go into a drop it into the crook yeah. and swing, but then I realised I'm not going to hit him in the face today. Or uh, the Jim Carrey School of Karate. You ready oh. for this? I shall laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, does this have, if that's a bottle coming down, there's my block. Yeah. So this will be taking it down. There's the target. <laughs> I know my head's in the way, go on. Uh, this will be here. The distance in reality would be here. So I'm being very cautious of here, here, and obviously I've got this. But I'm controlling his attacking arm with my free arm. Just playing with these techniques, you're going to find that things will open up and you'll suddenly go, oh, yeah. I could use that. So if I'm using my right arm, so this is the punch, he's going to come in and he's striking my punch with the crook. That's going to take me out of action. And he hasn't even begun to think about what he could do. So I'm using this as a target for him. But we're going slow. If you can't do it slow... You can't go slow, you won't be able to perform it fast. No. So one of the best guys for kata and fighting in our club is called Sensei Ray. Sensei Ray. And if you watch him do kata, you think, well, he's going very slow. When he does it full speed, he's very good. When he applies the techniques, he's very good. He's Everything. Got power with it as well. Next yes, I've been on the end of it more than one occasion. So going the slow, getting the form and everything correct. I know we keep talking about this, but it is very, very important. Go slow, get your method in, get your technique in, and then go faster, build up the power. But that... The basics will be there all the time, and that if they are solid, everything else will be fine. From my system, just literally having your mind and your body moving in one flow, so I know that this body's going to come this way. So when I have to do it fast, I know exactly what I'm doing, and I know that when I get to here, I'm transitioning to the next part and it is by only doing really slow movements knowing them now reverse position I know that's there and I know that that's coming over the top nice little drill keep it simple I want to use the words kiss yeah. keep yeah. it simple stupid well, I was going to say <laughs> Give me the other one. You can do the 12 K strokes from here. It changes a lot when you're sitting down. If you sit down, it actually helps you correct your form and technique. As well, and it's not worrying doing this <laughs> at all. When you're holding the pads, I see people do this a lot. They will hold the pad, and that will be this there. The head is here, so that is different from that. So when you're doing these, keep them in line with where those body parts are. You're actually giving the person the target. So if I'm going to go for a sternal strike now. And it's also a great little thing, Chris goes, um, left side of my head. Yeah? 
and then he puts the pad there. I'm already going for the left side of his head. And then he'll say something like groin. <laughs> yeah. If you use the focus bits, you want to put a bit more power in. You notice I put two hands up here. I would put them here, but he's not. He doesn't look convinced. No. If, as with everything, if you're aiming at the head, lots of distance, very little power, lots of control. Slow focus techniques. That's what you're looking for. Think fast. He's good, isn't he? He should have his own TV show. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked the video. Little drill, just for fun. Build up some memory. Build up some sort of like coordination. It is just for fun. It also helps you have a winning training partner. Yeah. That's like most things in life, really, isn't it? Well, again, yeah. I mean, I mean, we're lucky. We're in our own little bubble here, so we tend to get away with murder, allegedly. I don't, I did, I don't know not where the body's, body's buried, you know. <laughs> There's no bodies. So, thanks for watching. Just keep thinking that. Drop us a comment down below. Smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. Come on. You missed something. You know what next? You forgot to say, give us a thumbs up. I said smash the like button. Yeah, but thumbs up's better. Don't forget to subscribe, please. Kev, this is sad Kev. We want happy Kev. Happy Kev likes it when you subscribe because I get ice cream. Don't forget to ring the bell. You don't get ice cream, you're on a diet. And as always, what's that? Free the fear. Not a ferret inside. <laughs>